if the film makes a big effort to get it right, then it's kind of fun to see what they got wrong. A movie has to kind of earn the right to be evaluated at that level. And for me, that's the highest compliment I can give a film, where I have to look really hard to see where you might have gotten some of the science wrong. As of this moment, I haven't seen Ridley Scott's The Martian yet, but it's definitely on my calendar. The author of the book, uh, Andy Weir, I, I know is a, he's a trained engineer, and we actually interviewed him for Star Talk. It was fun hearing him talk about how much of his own knowledge of general science he wanted to infuse into the problem-solving elements of the film. He's left behind, left for dead, but then they're gonna come get him, so he's gotta stay alive for whatever period of time on the calendar that is, and he's gotta breathe oxygen on a planet that doesn't have oxygen, he's gotta grow food on a planet that's sterile, so how do you do this? And my favorite line, he says, I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. <laughs> Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> like, first, science is a verb. Can't go wrong if you're gonna use science as a verb. But secondly, what an interesting take on a film. Survival is not just, let me just try to live until someone gets me. It's, let me invoke clever scientific solutions and engineering solutions to the problems that lay before me. It's a celebration of the value of being scientifically literate, because you never know when you might get stranded on Mars. <laughs> or anywhere else.